Hello, today we are going to talk about mirroring iPads in the classroom. We will briefly cover using virtual router, air server, connecting your iPad to your computer using AirPlay, and how you can use it in the classroom. To download virtual router, you can Google it. Click the first link. The page that it takes you to has lots of information about what virtual router is and how it works. Click the Downloads tab at the top of the page. Here is where you can download the Virtual Router program. Click on it and follow the prompts. To set up the Virtual Router, you'll need a network name. Here, I've chosen Router1. A password is also required. For simplicity's sake, I'll make the password password. Next, under Share Connection, choose Wi-Fi. The laptop or computer you are working on will also need an internet connection, either Wi-Fi or an Ethernet cable connection. Click Start Virtual Router and wait until it says Stop Virtual Router. It is now sending out a signal. To download AirServer, the mirroring program, search it in Google. Click the first link. On the far right-hand side of the screen, select Download. I would suggest first downloading the 7-day trial to test out the program and see if you like it. If you don't, there are other mirroring programs out there. Select Download for free and follow the prompts. AirServer can be used to mirror any Apple device through AirPlay. Open AirServer. Here, I've pinned it to my taskbar. For the trial version, follow through with the activation code validation. When AirServer opens, you will see a notification pop up in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. It will tell you the name it is running under. Here, it's Brittany PC. The next step is to connect your iPad to the router. Select the settings on your iPad. Under Wi-Fi, you are looking for the name you called your virtual router. Recall I've called mine Router1. Choose it from the list, type in your password, and hit Join. This will connect your iPad to the hotspot that you made your laptop with a virtual router. To find AirPlay, swipe up from the bottom of your iPad screen to reveal your control center. In the bottom middle on the right hand side, you will see AirPlay. Select that, then the name of your Air server, in this case, Brittany PC, and make sure mirroring is turned on. It will now show up on your laptop or computer. To turn it off, select iPad. Here's a better view of where to find AirPlay in your control center. The iPad is currently being mirrored, so Brittany PC is selected with the mirroring turned on. In a classroom, your computer or laptop can be hooked up to a projector to project the mirroring iPads up onto the screen. This is a great feature so the whole class can see what you or one of their classmates is doing on the iPad. Here, I am using the Poplet app to show how mind maps can be displayed to everyone in the class. You can mirror more than one iPad at one time. Here, I have two up. As you can see, interaction is still possible with multiple iPads being mirrored. Now, I have six iPads being mirrored up onto the screen. All interactions can still be seen in real time. This is a great tool to utilize in the classroom when you have groups working on a task and would like to see what they have produced so far and share it with the entire class. Thanks for watching my video on mirroring iPads in the classroom. I hope you found it helpful.